Struggling with EKGs? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. But guess what? Today, we're making it simple. My name's Nurse Mike, here with SimpleNursing.com, where we make nursing knowledge actually stick. In this next video in our mini lesson series, we're breaking down ECG interpretation, or EKG interpretation, into six super easy steps that you can crush those strips like a pro. Whether you're studying for the NCLEX or you're a new grad tackling your first floor job, this breakdown will make EKGs your new BFF. Oh, and don't forget to grab your free EKG Rhythms cheat sheet in the comments section below. This simple reference guide makes EKG Rhythms a breeze, so be sure to download it. All right, are you ready? Let's jump into it. To really master ECGs or EKGs, a little hint, it's the same thing. We gotta start with the basics of how the heart works. Think of your heart's electrical system kind of like a road trip and the electrical flow like your GPS directions. The first stop is the SA node. This is the heart's natural pacemaker, sitting all chill in the right atrium, firing off signals 60 to 100 beats per minute. It's the one that shouts, hey heart, let's go. So remember, it all starts at the SA node. The signal then travels to the AV node, AKA the gatekeeper. Now, why is this? It's because it slows things down just a little bit, making sure the atria fully contracts before passing that juice to the ventricles so that everything is smooth sailing. Then the signal speeds through the bundle of hiss, which is the only electrical connection between the atria and the ventricles. And hint, hint, it's a commonly tested NCLEX question. Now, where does the signal go next? It heads down to the right and left bundle branches and finally hits the Purkinje fibers. And boom, your heart is ready to pump like the pro it is. So here's a sticky tip to remember it all. And I want you to say it with me. Some angry bunnies punch. This stands for the SA node, AV node, B for bundle of hiss, and then P for the Bikinji fibers. Boom, you nailed it. Now here's a quick reference on the rates. The SA node fires at 60 to 100 beats per minute. The AV node and bundle of hiss beat around 40 to 60 beats per minute. And finally, the Bikinji fibers take over at 20 to 40 beats per minute. Make sure to put that in your back pocket for later. Trust me. It's gold for EKG interpretation. And okay, now it's time to talk about those EKG waves, those little squigglies on the EKG paper. Think of each wave kind of like a dance move, all choreographed by the heart. So first up is the P wave. Think of A for atrium. The P wave is all about atrial depolarization, AKA the atrial contraction, which means that the heart is firing off an electrical signal. So everyone clap for the atria doing their job. Next, we got the QRS complex. This is where the ventricles steal the show. What's known as ventricle depolarization. Fancy words for the contraction or the squeezing of the ventricles. And here's a fun fact. The QRS kind of looks like a big old V for ventricles. Now finally is the T wave. Because remember, whatever goes up must come down. This is the ventricles repolarizing, or basically relaxing and refilling with blood. So this is where the ventricles fully recover so that they're ready to fire again. The heart is simply chilling out here. Now someone always asks, where's the atrial repolarization? And that's a great question. It's actually hidden behind the QRS complex because the ventricles are simply louder and bigger electrically. Kind of like when you have that one extroverted friend who talks over you at brunch. Okay, now moving on to the secret sauce of EKGs. It's all about segments and intervals. These little helpers tell you if something's wrong. So here's a key measurement that all nurses should know. The PR interval measures the time from the start of the P wave to the start of the QRS. So what's normal range? Well, normal range is 0.12 to 0 0.2 seconds, very, very short. And the QRS complex should be between 0 0.06 to 0 0.12 seconds. 
Anything greater than 0.12 seconds is considered wide, and wide in QRS complexes simply mean a big delay in ventricular contraction. If it's too wide, like your uncle's cargo shorts, well, it's a huge red flag for a bundle branch block or even a PVC. So I like to use the magic box method to time everything. Remember, one box is 0.04 seconds, and five small boxes is one big box, basically 0.20 seconds. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, now that you've got the basics, here's where all the magic happens. Grab your EKG strip and follow my six-step EKG interpretation. This method is so good, you'll probably want to frame it. So starting with step one, identify and examine the P waves. Are they present? Are they upright? Big one here. Are they consistent? If the P waves are missing or inverted, think of junctional rhythm or even atrial fibrillation. Step number two is we measure the PR intervals. Simply count those small boxes and remember that normal is 0.12 to 0.2 seconds. Anything longer could mean a heart block. Now moving on to step number three, it's all about measuring those QRS complexes. Again, normally it should be between 0.06 to 0.12 seconds. Too wide and this screams trouble. Step number four is to identify the rhythm. Is it regular or irregular? Now, how do we know this? We simply line up those R peaks with one index card or even calipers. Is it either irregularly irregular, think atrial fibrillation, or is it regularly irregular? Think of a heart block. Next is step five, determine the heart rate. Simply use a six second strip or the 300 rule for quick results. And very lastly is step six, interpret the strip, putting it all together to diagnose conditions like bradycardia, heart blocks, or even PVCs. Now, I don't wanna oversell this, but your six step method is your ticket to EKG mastery. All right, now it's time for rapid fire review. P wave is that atrial depolarization, basically that atrial squeeze. The QRS is that ventricular depolarization, that ventricular squeeze. The T wave is the ventricular repolarization, where it's relaxing and refilling with blood. Now, what was the PR interval? Remember, it's 0.12 to 0.2 seconds. And what was the QRS duration? Well, normally it's 0.06 to 0.12 seconds. And never forget your six step method. All right, guys, that wraps it up. If this made EKGs feel less scary, give the video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more high yield nursing tips. Oh, and don't forget to download your free EKG cheat sheet in the description below. Until next time, keep rocking those strips and always remember, You've got this.